We are well into 2022 and today I am bringing you 24 extreme frugal tips for you and your family. You can incorporate one of these, you can incorporate all of these for some unique and interesting ways to save money that maybe you haven't thought about before. Let's kick it off with some grooming and numbers one and two are gonna be hair, not hair. <laughs> numbers one and two are gonna be makeup and nails. I'm sure you've noticed I go bare nailed 99.9% .9 of the time. Number one, I use my hands too much, whether it's weightlifting, cleaning the dishes, painting a room, or using power tools, um, I find that my nails just get scruffed, they get in the way. It's really hard to play the guitar with nails that are longer than very, very short. So I keep them short and I don't paint them, which means my maintenance on said nails is very, very low and free. I'm not saying you have to do that. I have gotten acrylic nails in the past. I've gotten manicures in the past. I do it sometimes, but it's definitely not an every day or every week or even in every month situation in my life. I do think it looks very pretty, which leads us into makeup. Now, obviously I am wearing a little bit of makeup, but the tip for you is to go easy on the makeup. For those that love makeup or that like certain types of makeup, you tend to go a little overboard, this palette, this palette, and then you end up with your Ipsy subscription and you end up with this other subscription. And then, you know, Sephora knows you by a first name basis. I'm not saying not to wear makeup if you would like to do so. I'm saying select items that you love that you use every single day with just a few switches here and there. You don't have to go crazy unless you indeed have a makeup tutorial channel here on YouTube or something. In that case, buy whatever makeup you want. Rotate your streaming services. There's no reason you have to have 10 streaming services all being paid for at the same time. Go do Hulu for a couple months, pause it, run over to your Amazon Prime, do your Disney Plus, your Acorn TV, your Discovery Plus, which is my recent favorite, by the way. I have really been enjoying Flip or Flop, but there's truthfully too much content to consume all of it at the same time. So just rotate through. We don't want $100 a month in streaming service fees. I'm okay with 10 or 15 a month. And then you can save the remaining like 85 to $90 a month and do something else with it. Like invest in retirement, like go out to dinner, go on dates. You can put your kids in sports. One of my favorite tips and one I do all the time is to save up all of your errands for one day. For example, today I am running all of my errands that I have been saving up for the last one to two weeks. That's uh, mailing things back to Amazon, dropping off some things at the post office. Those are actually two different locations for me. I am recycling all of these bags here at my Albertsons has a bag recycle area. So I have these to go recycle. My mom has a shredder and I don't have a shredder and I have a whole pile of documents that I need to have shredded. So we're going to run over there and do that as well. So I've saved up all of these errands to get it done in one shot. It's one trip instead of 10 different trips, less wear and tear on your car, less gas and less time. If you're considering a pet, perhaps consider adopting one, getting a rescue dog or cat or whatever it is, or going to the animal shelter, right? Right? This is Speedy, he's a toy poodle. We got him from a rescue about Ooh, six years ago now, he's about 10. Oh, he'll be 11 this year. And one note is if you are going to get a pet, this is a big commitment, so make sure that you have the means to give them what they need. And that is food, toys, leashes and things to take them out on walks. And then also make sure you can handle those vet bills. And speaking of vets and pets, let's talk about our sponsor today. Thank you to Fuzzy for sponsoring today's video. Being a pet parent is a huge responsibility. And since our pets can't talk to us, we do our best to understand what is going on, but knowing something's wrong with them or their health and not understanding why is one of the biggest challenges of being a pet parent. Enter Fuzzy. Fuzzy is a telehealth service for pet parents that offers 24 seven access to personalized pet care from vet professionals. Now I've had experiences where I've had a middle of the night emergency and it was almost impossible to find a 24 hour vet ER. So if you have everyday questions or a middle of the night emergency like I did, Fuzzy has the answers that pet parents need. They have live chat, virtual vet consultations available to you 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And they can answer your pet questions, big and small, urgent and 
every day. They can also recommend the exact right products for your pet, which are handpicked by their team of vet professionals and available at discounts exclusive to Fuzzy members. So right now, Fuzzy is offering my subscribers a free seven day trial membership. Go to yourfuzzy.com slash FFM today to sign up. It's gonna be the first link down in the doobly-doo. That's a free seven day trial at Y-O-U-R-F-U-Z-Z-Y.com slash FFM. And for a limited time, Fuzzy is also offering a special discount of $20 off any of your pet products needs, pet meds, supplements, food, and more with the promo code FFM. So click that first link below, promo code FFM for your free trial with access to 24 seven personalized pet care and vet recommended products. Okay, this is a really fun tip of something I used to do all the time. Now, when I lived in Texas, the first trash day of the month was bulk pickup day, which means you could put literally anything on your curb on that trash day and the trash guys would pick up anything from mattresses to swing sets to rusty bikes. But my favorite thing to do was to drive around the neighborhood and find goodies that other people were throwing away that I could score. Here are the following that I remember off the top of my head. A fully wooden bunk bed set. <laughs> a white nightstand, office desk that we carried by hand over one street, and we used that in our office for at least three years. And I got, you know one of those blanket chest things with like the lid like this? We got a wooden one of those, we still have it. <laughs> We have had that for like 15 years. Grow gardens, not lawns. Listen, I love a grassy lawn as much as the next person, but if you have a little bit of space in your backyard, consider putting in a garden. Our growing zone, for those that are curious, is 4A, which is one of the hardest ones to grow in. When I lived in Texas, it was 8 we are pretty limited in what we can grow here, although Idaho does grow a lot of potatoes. But you can still utilize your space, and I can definitely plant vegetables that grow really, really quickly. So if you haven't tried, maybe give it a try. It's not that hard. This is literally how I do my garden. I take seeds, and I put them in the dirt, and I water them. <laughs> I have no special knowledge, no special training. I don't know how to prune plants. All I know is to cover them when it's gonna freeze and water them. That is literally all I know. Turn down your water heater. Now, most people keep their water heater at about 140 degrees, but most household like chores and whatever, bathing, washing your clothes, really only needs to be at about 120 degrees to get all of those things done. I don't know about you, but I've never been in a shower that was 140 degrees. Line dry clothes when you can. Not only is it better for your clothes, which is one of the main reasons I do it, I don't put in the dryer any of my workout gear at all, it can save money on that utility bill as well. Now, it doesn't make sense for me to line dry everything. I have six people and I live in a frigid climate. I don't even know that they make enough line to do the number of loads of laundry that I have. But you will frequently see clothes draped on this railing, on my kitchen chairs, and on this drying rack right here in my house. So if you haven't started hanging up at least your workout gear to dry, try it. And speaking of laundry, make sure you have a full load before you hit that start button. And if you haven't tried washing everything on cold, give it a go and see how clean your clothes get. Honestly, I have found the clothes to get really clean. I have found that they smell good and I'm a big fan of Tide. I feel like Tide is the best detergent ever. It will get out anything, your clothes will smell delicious and you don't have to use all of that hot water, which can get expensive, especially when you're doing as many loads of laundry as I am. Let's also do the dishwasher when it's full. Don't hit start when there's like three things in there. Fill it to the brim. And one of my favorite things is my dishwasher has a speed cycle, so it only runs for an hour and my dishes are still perfectly clean. I know I am not the only one that has leftovers up to here. Before you start making new stuff or getting takeout, maybe pull out what's in here and you can have a smorgasbord, my favorite kind of meal. I call it courses. Okay, kids, we're having courses. And I just divvy out what's in here. The food doesn't go to waste. I'm saving money by not ordering pizza. And we're like cleaning out the fridge. So if you have not been utilizing your leftovers, please start. It's what we've done like our whole married lives. And that leads me to another tip, which is don't get takeout for lunch, take leftovers. Instead of spending all of your money on these, which can get expensive after a while, use rags instead. You can use these for cleaning basically everything in your house. I think they dust better, they clean mirrors, they clean stainless steel really well, and then you just stick them in the washing machine 
and reuse them next time. One of the few times I think this is probably worth it is if someone in your family drops a glass jar of honey. But basically anytime there's glass spilled, go ahead and use these and just toss that. Next is to take care of what you have. Now, whether that means replacing a, a couple parts of a toilet instead of buying a whole new toilet. When we bought this house, this outlet did not work at all. We couldn't figure out why it didn't work. We turned light switches on and off. Nothing ever made sense. I was thinking it was this huge deal and when we, replaced all of the outlets in the house, these used to be cream colored, with white ones, guess what? It works. <laughs> it was a simple, easy, couple of dollar fix because the old outlet was just burned out. We just needed a new one. <laughs> and a lot of the times, the fixes are not as bad as it sounds or not as bad as you think it's going to be. Now, when you do your shopping, you can definitely save some cash if you buy in bulk. Not all the time, check your prices. But I was able to buy this 50 pound bag of rolled oats for $13. And that's a lot better deal than buying this tiny little three pound one for about $3. Now, if you hate oats, maybe don't buy that. <laughs> But when you see a deal like that, go ahead and get it. Save the money where you can, and then you're not gonna have to go to the store for a really long time. Oh, what's this? My next tip is to learn to make your favorite takeout at home. Honestly, all it takes is like a $2 bag of russet potatoes, a knife, my air fryer, and this sauce, and I have recreated one of my absolute favorite things at Chick-fil-A, which is the waffle fries with the sauce. Truly, it's all about the sauce. And there's some stores like Costco that have like copycat chicken tenders that you can put on a bun, throw this sauce on, and you have basically a complete duplicate of an expensive but delicious fast food option. Figure out what your favorite fast food takeaway meals are, learn to recreate them at home, and you can save some doll hairs. Water is your friend. You don't need the Gatorade or the juices or the sparkling waters or the sodas. Drink water. It's free out of the tap. It tastes delicious and it's good for your body. Being frugal is not the same thing as being cheap or being a cheap skate. Okay, being frugal means that you are thoughtful about value and being cheap just means you only care about price. What that means for this tip is to invest in things that will last. These are not cheap running shoes. These are Brooks Ghost, these are my favorite ones. I have been using these shoes for almost a year. They look pretty good though, don't they? Like. They've held up really nicely. The rubber sole is hanging in there. So this is an example of I, I have invested in these shoes because they are very good quality. I can get a lot of use out of them and they're gonna last a long time. Compared to these children's Under Armour shoes, which were worn for maybe four months. The crappily made foam sole has worn off. There are rips in weird places. And after four months, these are pretty much worn out. The support on the inside is totally gone. They don't look good anymore. There is a true difference between these and these, and an even bigger difference between these and a Walmart athletic shoe. I would show you one, but I don't have any of them because we invest in our shoes so our feet are happy. And as someone that struggles with plantar fasciitis, trust me, you want your feet to be happy your entire life. If you have not been utilizing your library yet, I highly recommend you do that. Early in my marriage, when I was a stay-at-home mom of a little baby and we had literally zero money, I would walk my daughter Haley in the stroller to the library about once a week. And I would check out a series of books and DVDs. This was the very beginning of DVD players. So there were VHS and DVD. And I could check all of them out to cover me for the next week. And the library had internet and all of it was free. So if you do not have a library card for your town, go today. We love games at our house. We do have a lot of them. You can definitely get some of these at the thrift store and some don't cost very much. This is Mancala. My 10 year old son is like weirdly good at this game. He can beat everybody. You know, don't be afraid of your basic card games. Phase 10, which is not my favorite. Uno is really fun. Don't forget your standard deck of cards. If you have not taught your kids solitaire yet, do it, they'll be entertained for hours upon hours upon hours. When my kids learned how to play solitaire, they each had their own deck and they would play quietly forever. Have I told you about oats? <laughs> if you have not been utilizing these, you need to go buy some and put them into your meal plan and food rotation now. Holy crap, this is heavy. Oh, oh. Ow. Oatmeal is cheap. 
and delicious. You can do oatmeal, you can do baked oatmeal, you can make bread, you can do pancakes, you can make muffins, you can make homemade granola, you can use it as a topping, you can do a crisp. Hello, apple crisp. Oatmeal is so cheap and so versatile that if you have not been using it in your family's diet, you know, assuming you have no issues eating oatmeal, pick some up and give it a go. Oatmeal is not just for hot cereal anymore. You might look in your pantry or refrigerator or freezer sometimes and see things like this. This little baggie of what looks like homemade granola. This jello that i have no idea how long this has been in here and it can be tempting to just say screw it all and just toss it and start over but instead of doing that i would recommend you pull it out and use it this tip is use it up when you see a little serving of granola go get some yogurt out of the fridge put this on top get rid of the bag and boom we have used something you've had a nutritious and delicious meal and we didn't have to throw away food throwing away food is like one of my biggest pet peeves. I am a big fan of these stickers. I love these stickers. This tip is to watch the sales ads, shop around and keep your eyes open. I have been able to find clearance food basically anywhere I go because I know what I'm looking for and keep my eyes open. And if you watch the sales ads of basically any grocery store other than Walmart, basically, you'll be able to get some amazing deals. That's definitely a grocery specific tip for you. I've done a ton of other how to save money on your groceries videos. I'll leave some of those down below for you to go check out. One of the best tips I can give you is to take care of your car. Your car is probably going to be your largest liability purchase in your life. That liability means it's going to cost you money. It doesn't make you money. A lot of people think that the only way you can have a reliable car is to get a brand new car, and that's just not true. I have never bought a brand new car in my entire life. This one I'm sitting in is my Honda Pilot. It's my everyday drive around car. It has 140,000 miles on it. It is 10 years old, and the things I need to do to it are make sure I get my tires rotated, make sure I get the alignment done, make sure I get that oil change at the appropriate time. Love your cars they're gonna love you back and at this kind of investment it just makes sense you know what I mean if you want to try out fuzzy and get that free seven-day trial check out the first link down below and tell me which of these tips was your favorite tip and if you have a good frugal tip that's that I did not mention in this video let us know down below it in the comments so everyone reading can save as much money as possible thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in the next video